I started doing research on the coronavirus. It's all over the news right now, social media, um, and you know me when it comes to our health, I am on it. I start doing my research on um, how to protect ourselves. Um, and I wanna share with you just some of the things that I have found and learned through my research. It's people with weak immune systems. That is the bottom line of all this. Our immune system is huge. It's our army. It's what fights off bad bacteria, viruses. Um, and so I want to talk about fermented foods with you. And I also want to share a video clip that I found just a couple days ago. We want to protect our body from viruses. We really want to look at the gut. Um, you know, our gut houses about 85% of our immune system. That is huge. I mean, I've always said this, it always starts, it begins with the gut. When we are healing our body, we cannot bypass the gut and think we're gonna get very far on our healing journey. We have to rewind the tape and start from the very beginning. And that always starts with what we are consuming, what we are putting into our gut. And we really need to um, just eliminate fast food, processed food, um, highly chemical foods, and go to, um, and you know, do your best of course, but try to get mostly organic foods in your diet. All these things are just ways of building our immune system up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and play this video clip for you that I found on, on YouTube a few days ago. It is really interesting. And let's roll the tape. Here we go. Now the MERS outbreak appears to be winding down here in Korea, as we just mentioned, but researchers are always, always on the lookout for new ways to treat viruses like MERS. And based on results gleaned from animal testing, a team of researchers here in Korea has found that lactic acid bacteria in kimchi is affected, effective rather, in preventing and treating similar viruses. Park Se-young has this report. Lactic acid bacteria found in kimchi are known to have numerous health benefits. In the past year, Korean scientists discovered its effectiveness in preventing and treating viral diseases like Middle East Respiratory Syndrome. All 2,000 pigs infected with coronaviruses recovered completely a week after they were injected with the healthy bacteria. Lactic acid bacteria from kimchi protects us from viruses by increasing immune globulin A in the intestine. The body then produces more immune globulin G, or inferion gamma, to prevent viral infection. Wait, 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 what did he say? Let's play that one more time. All 2,000 pigs infected with coronaviruses recovered completely a week after they were injected with the healthy bacteria. Really? So these pigs were healed in a few weeks of this coronavirus by injecting probiotic strains from kimchi. That means we gotta get our kimchi on <laughs> and start putting this into our diet. Um, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm experimenting right now. And in fact, um, I have been eating kimchi tacos uh, for dinner and I'm gonna share that recipe in my next video with you. It's really good, really healthy, plant-based. So what the heck is kimchi anyways? So what kimchi is, it is um, made up of fermented cabbage, garlic, chili peppers, onions, radishes, gingers, and there's just a bunch of added spices to it and it almost tastes like, um, like a spicy salsa. Um, I really like it. It tastes really good in my tacos. So fermented foods are foods that have gone through a process of lactofermentation, which is a natural bacteria that feeds off sugar and starches in the food, creating lactic acid. This kimchi is loaded with vitamins and minerals, omega-3s, um, your B vitamins. Uh, it's just and it's just has such a great variety of probiotic strains. 
that are so helpful and this this is literally our army uh these are this good bacteria fights off the bad bacteria like viruses like the coronavirus we need our army to be strong and to fight these things off so we so our body can heal so it's so important uh, for us to be getting certain foods in our diet. And for me, uh, since uh, fermenting foods is new to me, I mean, I, I obviously I have a good immune system. I haven't been sick in four years. Um, I did get um, food poisoning and I threw up, but that's completely different. That was just the intelligence of my body purging out something that wasn't supposed to be in my body. Um, thank God that my immune system is so strong and powerful that it was, it can push all that out. So, um, but you know, so I, I obviously get good, uh, strands of these good bacteria in my diet. I, I go outside and I, um, pick my organic strawberries that I grow myself. Um, and I will just pick it and, and the bacteria on the strawberry in its natural state, those are, those are golden. I, you really want to get that good bacteria in your diet. It, like I said, it's part of building a strong army in our body to fight these things off. On my detox journey, I go through phases. Sometimes I'll go a month with just eating completely raw dishes. And that's like my um, pasta that I made in my last video. Um, I'll have, uh, lots of salads and fruits and, and I just keep, you know, uh, nuts and seeds, but it's all raw. And then I will kick up my detox and I'll hit just fruit. Um, and then there's times I will even kick it up more and I will dry fast or do some water fasting short term. Uh, and, and so I'm constantly you know, just changing my detox and, um, because there's definitely levels of detoxification and, uh, and of course the highest level is probably water fasting, juice fasting, um, fruit fasting, all these things. Um, and it's difficult to get to those levels, but you know, you just do the best you can. Uh, like I said, even if you cut out just all the processed foods and, and try to get all the chemically, um, foods like your fruits and vegetables that are sprayed with pesticides, herbicides, all that stuff. If you just try to clean that out or just wash it really, really good. Um, and you can use apple cider vinegar. You can even add to that, um, aluminum free baking soda to your fruits and vegetables and let that soak for about 15 minutes. I just use apple cider vinegar, but I've heard adding um, uh, aluminum free baking soda definitely helps um, too. So basically just do the best you can. Uh, just try to eat as clean as you can. Um, and yeah, so um, kimchi, man, I am just gonna experiment it, experiment with these fermented foods. I think it it's a game changer um, and, uh, and we'll see. And like I said, I'm gonna make a video on my kimchi tacos that I make and uh, the kimchi that I do use, it is raw and uh, the place I get it and they might have it maybe like at somewhere like Tr Trader Joe's, maybe Sprouts. I haven't really looked there. I got this at my local farmer's market. They had it. And, um, and so I'm going to go ahead and just play around with that for a little bit and see how it goes. So anyways, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and end there. So, um, I hope you all have a wonderful blessed day as always, and I'll see you in the next video. You guys all take care. Love you. Bye-bye.